Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Jobs here with Fandroid.com taking a look at some more top paid Android applications from the Google Play Store. This time we're taking a look at House of the Dead Overkill. Uh, this is quote unquote the Lost Reels. So this is almost like a mobile version or a port of the, the Wii game, the console game. So if you remember, if you ever had a Wii, you might remember the game actually came out on the Wii and there was an HD remake for the PS3 as well. I played it on the Wii, I absolutely loved it. Had like the most fun ever with this game. Uh, typical House of the Dead stuff, you're gonna be shooting zombies, but uh, it's done in a totally different 70s, uh, kind of drive-in, B-list movie type style, and it is absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's actually $5 in the Google Play Store, and they only give you three levels to start out with, but this weekend only, up until Mother's Day, uh, throughout Mother's Day, it's going to be $2.99, so you're gonna get $2 off, and uh, someone mentioned in the comments actually that the last third level you actually have to pay another two dollars for to unlock but I'm not really sure how accurate that is. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the story mode and we're gonna get through it. Papa's Palace of Pain, Ballistic Trauma, and Naked Terror which they're telling you to buy here and oh I think you gotta buy it with cash so you gotta uh, hopefully uh, I don't like that. Hopefully that's not what they're doing there because that would be almost downright uh, <laughs> downright dishonest. So let's go ahead and start with Papa's Palace of Pain. Uh, we're going to click next. We're going to rock the house because there's a couple levels in that level. So a couple stages. We're going to go to rock the house. This is kind of like the tutorial. Uh, you can choose your two different agents. So these are like these FBI guys that go to investigate some crazy happenings that are going on in this old mansion. Agent G or Isaac Washington. Uh, typical 70s type characters. <laughs> Let's go ahead and click next. You have different guns that you can use. So you have two guns uh, and you can upgrade them accordingly by earning quote unquote cash uh, throughout the game by getting headshots and just earning points and doing some awesomeness. For a better experience, play with headphones or play on an HTC One, even though I got my Nexus 4 here. So there's Isaac Washington. He's cursing like a, like a mofo. So definitely some very adult language, similar to the Wii title. Mature rating, I guess. Don't let the kids play this. And the other one had some really cool, uh, like a narrator, and I thought it was awesome. So the gameplay is, is interesting, because I thought you were gonna have to just tap to shoot, which would be almost just too easy for a House of the Dead shooter, but you actually aim using this thing, and then you shoot with the button over here. So let's go ahead and uh, get going. You can see, move there, nail the headshot, you can uh, reload by pressing there, you can shoot out, throw out a grenade, and you can switch your weapon there at the top. So it's got this cheesy 70s music, kill every mutant in sight, okay. I think I'm just gonna skip the tutorial once the thing comes up again. Uh, 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 oh, I gotta reload. He's coming at me, he's coming at me. Headshot. Skip tutorial. All right, so now they're just gonna, they're just explaining how you can uh, get chain kills by killing dudes like really quick. Uh, you get more points if the guy's about to hit you and then you shoot him. You get more points, of course, for headshots. And uh, 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 ah, guy, got a guy, got him. Nah, ah. Aiming is kind of uh, pretty good. It's not bad at all, really. Um, I think the hardest part is moving, like trying to hit. Sometimes there's some items like a health kit or med kit that are in the corner and you gotta shoot those to get them. Similar to old school House of the Dead games and those can kind of be pretty pretty tough to shoot quickly, moving it around and accurately, but um, I think Sega did a really good job at porting this for mobile and it, it works well. The little the controls, as limited as they are, for not having like a uh, Wii Stick or the uh, PlayStation Move controller. They did really, really, oh, I got a headshot and a block. So that was a block. He was about to hit me, shot him to like kind of block myself, and I got a headshot. So that was like some good points there. Ah, oh, no, I'm hitting my volume thing. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're gonna have enough time in this video to, let's see, it's already gotten four minutes. I'll probably end this around six minutes. So let me just go buck nasty and forget about headshots. Uh, you can shoot their arms, their arms will fall off, you can shoot their legs, you can shoot out their legs and they'll just come crawling after you. Uh, and of course you can shoot their head, so I love games that do that when you... Uh, I forget what they call it, like targeted areas or... Ah, uh, shoot their legs, take that. Kind of stunner. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, headshot. Reload, reload. Your ass is gray, yes. There it is, I got some more. Oh, I got a grenade there. And I can um, do something crazy with these guys. 
Oh, you're like a grenade in your face. Ah, headshot. So I'm doing pretty good here. This is the first level, which is really easy. Now, part of the fun of the game was actually multiplayer. So there's a an, an dynamic that's just missing from this mobile version, but even then, I mean, I'm still having a pretty darn good time here. Uh, usually when you have a... Uh, there's some health pack or something right there. Move out of the way. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you got me. You ain't got no arms. How are you gonna hit me? I need to get arms. Um, okay, we're getting 5 minutes and 37 seconds. Cheese and rice, man. Alright. Let me... No! Ah, cheese. Okay. There we go. Oh, fatties. We got some fatties. Now, it's getting kind of hard to see here on camera, but uh, it's actually just as hard to see on my phone. Uh, I guess I could turn up the brightness a lot more, but... Then it's gonna get all... Uh, it would make everything look kind of weird. Like, oh, fatty, fatty, fatty with the axe. So you can kind of just go around here shooting at heads, trying to get them headshots. Oh my gosh, I was doing really bad. Shotgun's good for close quarters. Ah. Oh. Switch to your handgun for long range. Come on, come to daddy, come to daddy. Headshot, homie. I'm um, doing good, doing good. Oh my gosh, it takes forever to reload this thing. Oh, uh, and I died. So that's just a quick look at House of the Dead Overdrive. Three levels for five dollars, or almost a dollar a level, if you think about it, uh, for Mother's Day. So, uh, give your mother the gift that matters. Give her some zombie shooting, crazy headshot action. Uh, with Fandra.com, I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.